Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about some brand new Synology NAS is coming to you in 2019 and 2020. Right, so some brand new Synologies have been announced. It's going to be very short this video because I haven't got a great deal of information to tell you, but what this is more about is the end of this month. Synology are having a Synology Solution exhibition in Taipei running parallel to that of Computex. So I'm going to be there for Computex. It's only natural I'm going to try and be there for the Synology event, and I'm pleased to say that I will be. There's lots of solutions that they've already kind of semi-announced and leaked out there little by little, along with details about the DSM 7.0 software, where they're talking about how great it's going to be and what it can do and how many innovations and changes they're going to make to make things better than what you've got there with dsm 6.2 we're going to talk about some of the releases that they're going to show us there these are the only ones that let us know about so far but i'm sure there will be more than this first and foremost let's start small let's go for the one that you guys want to know about the most synologies ds220 plus a brand new flagship two bay nas that's uh, kind of that mid-range point. It's for you guys out there. I mean, the, the predecessor, the DS218 Plus, is still around out there. It's still easily one of my favorite NASs that I've seen in a very, very long time. So it's gonna have a lot to beat that device. Now, they've not really mentioned any of the specifications of any of the devices I'm gonna talk about today. All we've got is model numbers and images. So the DS220 Plus utilizes exactly the same chassis as the DS218 Plus. There's no mention of the CPU, but as I've mentioned in other videos and articles, because of the naming convention and the hardware conventions that Synology use, I think I can take a relatively half decent guess at the CPU. Now, in the previous generations of two base, we've always seen that the the two one the two one whatever year plus and the seven one whatever year plus have always used the same family of CPU, but a dual core and a quad core. We've seen the Braswell series where it was the dual core and the quad core. And we've seen the Celeron series at the moment um, with the J3355 and the J3455. And I think this new device is going to utilize that same J400 series of CPUs, the J4005 dual core and the J4105 quad core for the 7, uh, 720 whenever that arrives. My point is, that although that's not confirmed, remember that's not an official detail there, that's just guesswork. I think that's a likely CPU they're gonna go for because there's not a lot of CPUs out there that I know of other than maybe the J1900, which is looking a bit dated, that are gonna be featured on this device. Uh, on top of that, the next device they talked about is a real, um, we already talked about this device last year, but they've re they're kind of rebadging it and done a few more upgrades to it. The, do you remember last year the DS1419 DVA? Well, that has now been renamed to the DVA3219. This is that four bay that had a graphics card built into it, that NVIDIA card for deep video analytics, hence the DVA in the name. Now, this is, when we saw this last year at Synology's UK event, it was really, really cool because what you got was this idea of not just cameras staring and tracking motion or oh, someone's broke into your front lawn. It was smart enough to identify different features and functionality. It was smart enough to identify that an item should not be in that place, such as a bag on a tube station or a bike on a sidewalk. It was able to distinguish vehicles from people. It was able to distinguish things from other things. And that's something that's really, really important. What I will mention, and one thing I still haven't quite wrapped my head around, is because of Synology's naming convention, what that part number means. Now, previously, when it was called the DS1419 DVA, we all naturally assumed that the 14 in the title referred to the fact that it's a 4 bay and you could bang two 5 bay expansions on either side, the DX517, but this is called the DVA3219. They ditched the DS, the disk station, and replaced it with that deep video analytics. But or deep video analysis. I know people have different ideas about what that means. But the 32 could mean two things. One, it could mean number of cameras, such as we've seen previously with the MVR series. You know, 32 cameras, it's, you know, it's not too bad, not too bad with a good CPU inside there. I mean, a lot of the Celeron quad cores we've seen support 40 cameras. But on top of that, it could also mean storage, which would lend to the idea of a brand new expansion chassis from Synology. Or maybe using that DX12, uh, the 12 bay expansion device that we've seen previously. So that could very well be the case, but we're still not 100% certain at this time. It could be two of those 12 bays and this four bay, which would equal 32 bays. But moving forward from that, uh, the last two things that they talked about are rack mount devices. If you don't like rack mounts, cheerio, it's been nice seeing you. But 
Um, first, the FS6400. This is a flash station now. It's a 24 bay, 2.5 inch media uh, rack mount narrative for high end IOPS. You know, when you want those ridiculous speeds and those individual operations very, very quick. Uh, a lot of rendering power, of course. And there's no mention about the kind of media inside because chances are it's going to be SATA. But we hope, we hope it's going to be U2. Maybe there'll be NVMe slots inside, but I doubt it at this stage. But it would be very, very good to see some U2 slots on there, which is that NVMe in a two and a half inch chassis case. So, you know, when we hear, hear about that, more about that, that'll be great. But we still don't know anything about the CPU, which is bound to be some sort of high-end Xeon, you know, 8-core or something like that. Um, I don't think there'll be a dual controller, which leads me into my next one. The renaming of the UC300 we saw last year at Synology's UK event, the UC3200, um, this is the new device. This is that two, the 12 bay dual controller NAS. They call it an active, active controller system, whereby you've got those 12 bays of storage that are running into two separate controller boards, which mean they work together and they obviously doesn't double your power, but if something happens and something dies or something gets corrupted, the other one is immediately there to take the place. They did loads of live testing where they showed the drop rate where if one controller was disconnected and pulled how long it took for the device to completely shift onto that new pattern and of course we have done Synology high availability videos already previously if you want to see how Synology have been doing that in separate environments but this is a much faster more intricate more reliable solution whereby you only have one area of storage with those two controllers so you don't have to duplicate your files this is about the controller level protection so that's two new units and two and two renaming of previous units. Now, we there of course will be more at the event, and we will be covering the event as much as possible at the end of the month. But what I would be interested to mention is the little slim, the little six bay slim. Now, I've talked about that on the channel a few times, and it's kind of disappeared. Of all the devices that were supposed to be released at the end of last year and the start of this year, the one we haven't seen is the slim the ds619 slim which has kind of disappeared into obscurity there was a demand for it it's very interesting although there was you know mix of communication there across all the different platforms about that cpu inside with some places in taiwan saying quad core and some places in europe saying dual core so we still never knew and that kind of misinformation i think kind of lended even more to the idea that we're not going to be seeing it but I wouldn't be surprised if we see a DS620 Slim in the very near future. I wouldn't be surprised if they renamed it for the new series and hopefully they bung that quad-core CPU inside. But I'm going to wrap things up here. I know I said keep it quick and I think we're ticking over at like the seven-minute mark or something. Thank you very much for watching. Do follow this channel and of course the other YouTube channel at the end of the month for Computex and Synology's Solution Exhibition in Taiwan. If you've got any questions or things that you want me to put forward to the guys there, do let me know in the comments. And don't forget to click like and subscribe and read the NAS Compare article in the description. You click there, you'll get all of this information and more, and I'll try and update that article as much as possible. But thank you so much for watching. Click like and subscribe. Cheerio.